Hello everyone, this is Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is going to be for the Magic Rainbow Afghan. This is a beautiful quick and easy pattern made in a rainbow of colors using the Premier's Pixie Dust yarn. This afghan measures 48 inches across by 58 inches long and I'll give you all the information you need if you want to customize this to a different size. So let's go over everything you need for the material list to make this afghan. So before we go over the material list, this is a close-up of the stitch pattern where we're using white in a single crochet row to separate our colors. So this is just a simple one single crochet in each stitch across. And then for the colored rows, we're using a crossed double crochet stitch to form those cross stitches in the colored rows. So very simple pattern and I'm going to walk you through it step by step. To finish the design I just chose to add a one row of double crochet around the afghan just to give it a more finished look. But because this afghan used so many skeins of yarn because I chose to use so many different colors, I wanted to try to keep the amount of yarn used to a minimum so I just finished it off with one round. But it's your choice if you'd like to make that border wider. So let's go over the material list and I'll have that information in the description box underneath this video for your convenience so you can just glance at it and know what you need. So for this design I use the Premier Pixie Dust and this is 92.5% polyester, it's 7.5% metallic, there's 427 yards, 391 meters, 6 ounces and 170 grams per skein and you can see that shimmer and that glitter in this yarn. It's the perfect name for this yarn because it just seems so magical and this white just like a fresh fallen snow very very pretty this is a number four medium weight yarn so if you wanted to substitute maybe the premier basic yarn you could do that as well and it would be a little more affordable to make it won't have the dust of glitter through the yarn but you'll get the same effect of that rainbow color and it would be more affordable now this yarn is hand washed, lay flat to dry, and this is made in Turkey, and this is color number 1106-01, and you're going to need four skeins of the white. So the next color you're going to need one skein of color number 1106-04 Periwinkle. That is this beautiful shade of purple. So when I started making this afghan, I was using the fairy pink for the sample, at least I thought I was. But now when I got the actual yarn from Premier when I ordered it, I noticed the fairy pink wasn't the same color. It's very, very light pink. And I did not like the light pink with these colors because the yellow is really bright and the purple is really bright. So I put the pink punch as the color of choice and you'll notice this pink is darker than the pink I use. This color is not available but because I started making this before the yarn was actually manufactured and I was using samples the color doesn't match perfectly. So my suggestion is look at the two pinks. This is the pink punch. This is the fairy pink pick which one you want but in my instructions I'm choosing the pink punch because I think that the pink punch with that darker purple and that really bright yellow so you're going to need one skein of either the pink punch or one skein of the fairy pink so only one or the other not one of each so just choose which one you like best so the fairy pink is color number 1106-12 or you can choose the pink punch, this one, and that is color number 1106-05. So either or, pick one or the other. The next color is sky blue, beautiful blue color. This is color number 1106-08 sky. 
Now, I couldn't find my label for this because I only had one skein and I was using it in this afghan. So you have quite a bit left over when you're finished. So you can make this afghan a little bit longer if you wish. So this is the yellow right here and this is color number 1106-11 Sunshine. You're also going to need one skein of color number 1106-13 Lime Sherbet. Oh, this is such a beautiful color green. And the last color you're going to need is the Pixie Dust in color number 1106-14 Cantaloupe. Beautiful peach color. You're also going to need a size I9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now I'll have a special link in the description box that you can click where if you click that link you'll see a little banner on the page that says save 10% off an order of $25 or more and if it's your first time ordering from Premier you can save up to 15% if you watch for that pop-up banner and that way you'll get a code to get 15% off your order. So I thought I'd take a couple minutes and just go over the difference between the yarns and I know a lot of times money is a factor when you really want to make something and you're trying to find an alternative yarn. So what I'm showing you here is the Premier Basics. This is washable and dryable. It's 100% acrylic. And I thought I'll try to match up the colors the best I can and show you the difference. If you make this afghan with the Premier Basics, you need 10 skeins total of yarn. So this is $2.99 a skein. So to make this afghan would be $29.90. Now that does not include shipping. And if you order more than $75, you get free shipping. And if you use the link in this description box, you're going to save 10% or even 15, depending on if it's your first order. So if you look beneath, you see the pixie dust yarn here, and this is that beautiful glitter yarn. You're paying for the Chanel type yarn, you're paying for that glitter, and this yarn on the bottom is $7.99 a skein, and this would cost you $79.90 to make this afghan. So this is a great alternative if you want something that's easily washable and dryable and throw it in the washer. So let me go over the colors you're going to need four skeins of 1115-01 white so four skeins of the white and then the green I chose was color number 1115 sea glass and I put them on top of the pixie dust just so you can compare the colors this is as close as I could get the next color would be color number 1115-19 lilac you would need one skein of the lilac. You would need one skein of color number 1115-08 pink. One skein of color number 1115-05 lemon. One skein of 1115-50 peach. And then you need one skein of color number 1115-23 light blue. So it's your choice. You have two great alternatives to make this afghan. This yarn is very soft. It's wonderful to work with. So let's jump right in and let's get this afghan started. To begin our project, I already have my white yarn attached to my hook. I just tied a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer. So let's begin. We're going to start and we're going to chain 153. You're going to yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook, and that creates your first chain. Yarn over, pull through, that's two, three, Continue until you have a chain with 153 chains. I'll be back and we'll get row one started. I have my chain with 153 chains. Now, I did forget to mention that if you do not want to make an afghan this wide, that you can adjust the size of this afghan by using the multiple of two plus three. So you would chain two, chain two again, two again. So it would be two, four, six, eight, ten, a hundred, a hundred and ten, hundred and twenty, 
to whatever width you want. Once you get it to the width you want, then you're going to add three more chains. So if you want to make it smaller, you can do so. So let's begin row one. I'm going to zoom up. So we're ready to begin row one. So you're going to really have to pay attention to where your chain spaces are. So if you look, you can try to find those uh, threads where you can see the solid thread against the fuzzy and then look at your work and just try to find your chains where you can see them this way. So now we're ready to start row one. So please excuse my shiny background. I was trying to put something behind it so you could see the white a little bit better. So to start row one, we're going to start and skip the first chain right here. And we're going to insert our hook into the second chain from hook and work a single crochet. So skip the first chain insert into the next chain which is the second chain from hook and work a single crochet yarn over pull through that chain you have two loops yarn over and pull through two loops your first single crochet is made insert into the next chain look for that thread to help you find that stitch insert into that chain work a single crochet now when you first start this, it's a little hard because you don't have nothing to grab a hold of. So once I get a couple stitches made, I can just grab it with my fingers and help get that row started. You're going to insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. And that's all there is to row one. And my best suggestion is if you're having trouble seeing the stitches, it might be better to go get yourself a pair of readers, those magnifying glasses, and it can enlarge the stitches to help you find them better so you don't make any mistakes. So insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. Continue and work one single crochet in each chain across and I'll meet you at the end. I'm over at the end of I have one chain remaining so I'm just going to insert into that last chain work my single crochet. I'm going to go ahead and fasten off. So row one is finished. This is what your work looks like. You have one single crochet in each chain across. Now this is pretty long but that's what it should look like. So now I'm going back to where I fastened off. Now I'm going to let my ends hang here on this row. And when I get the afghan all done, I'll go ahead and weave all my ends in. So for this video, I'm just going to show you how to do the stitch. So now I'm going to turn my work. Now I already have my yarn attached to my hook and I attached it with a double knot. So now I'm going to go ahead and join my new color. So I'm just going to grab this end so I can hold that out of the way. Insert under the top two loops of that first stitch and join that new color with the slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and then pull it through the loop on your hook. That secures your yarn when you first start that row. We're going to begin and we're going to chain two. One and two. And this beginning chain two is going to count as our first double crochet stitch. Now we're going to work a cross double crochet and the cross double crochet is going to be worked across the next two stitches. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to skip that next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, you have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You just made a double crochet. We're going to work a double crochet into the skip stitch that we just skipped. You're going to yarn over, bring your hook to the front of your work, insert from front to back in the top of that skip stitch, work a double crochet. And your cross double crochet is made. I know it's a little bit harder to see with this fuzzy yarn. So let's continue. So this is the start of the repeat. You're going to make a cross double crochet across the next two stitches. You're going to yarn over, skip the next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. 
yarn over, bring your hook back to the front of your work and you're coming back to that skip stitch. Insert from front to back under the top of that stitch, work a double crochet. your cross double crochet is made. So let's do it a couple more times and then you can continue on your own. So again, this is the start of the repeat. You're going to yarn over, skip the next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. Yarn over, bring your hook back to the front of the work, insert into the top of that skip stitch front to back, work a double crochet. So let's do it one more time. You're going to yarn over, skip the next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. Yarn over, bring your hook back to the front of your work, insert from front to back in the top of that skip stitch, work a double crochet. Your cross double crochet is made. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next stitch, work a double crochet into the next stitch, and then you're going to come back and work a double crochet into the skip stitch. Repeat that across to within the last stitch. I'll meet you at the end of row two at the last single crochet stitch. I'm over at the end of row two. I have one stitch remaining right here on the end and we're going to work a double crochet into that last single crochet stitch. Yarn over, insert into that last stitch, work a double crochet. I'm going to fasten off. So this is what your work should look like. I'm going back to the beginning of my afghan. So when you started row two, we started with this chain two, which is the first double crochet, and then we worked our cross double crochet stitches all the way across to the end of the row. So let me get over to the end of the row, and then we end the row with a double crochet into that last stitch. Now with this pattern, row one was the base row, rows two and row three will be your repeat rows. So now we're getting ready to start row three, so I'm gonna grab my weight. So I already attached my weight to my hook with the double knot. We just fastened off our pink, so now we're going to turn our work. So I'm getting ready and we're going to join our new color with the slip stitch. And again, I already have it tied on the hook. So I'm inserting right underneath the top two loops of that first double crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and then pull through the loop on your hook, which secures your yarn. We're going to start and chain one. We're going to work one single crochet into that same beginning double crochet stitch where you joined your yarn. Insert into that same first stitch. Work a single crochet. And now all we're going to do is work one single crochet in each stitch across to the end of the row. Insert into the next stitch. Work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch and make sure you're going under both of those top loops. Work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch. Work a single crochet. So very easy row. So go ahead and continue and you're going to work one single crochet in each stitch across to the end of row three and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of row three, and when you get to the end, you're going to see that you worked a single crochet into the last double crochet of that cross stitch, and then you have this ending turning chain two. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go right into the top chain. So count up one, two, or just go into that very next chain, and you're going to single crochet and row three is finished. So I'm just going to fasten off my yarn again. 
Now because I am fastening off at the end of each row, it might be easier if you take a yarn needle and weave your ends in as you go so it's not so much work when the afghan is finished. I just chose to work the whole entire afghan and then when I got it done I just sat and watched TV and just weave those ends in as I'm watching a movie or something and then it doesn't make it so tedious. Now when you're fastening off your ends if you're using a yarn needle then make sure that you fasten off a little bit extra because it makes it so much easier when you have a yarn needle to maneuver it in and then come back and just work those ends in and make them nice, sec nice and secure. So now to continue with our afghan, we're going to repeat rows two and we're going to repeat row three. When we repeat row two, we're going to choose the next color for the row for the cross stitches. And then after we do the cross stitch row, we're going to do the single crochet row, which we'll always do in white. So when you look at what we've done so far, you can see we did row one, row two, and row three. So when you look at the afghan, here is our first three rows. And now to continue the design, we're going to repeat row two and row three, row two and row three, row two and row three. Each row two will be the color and then you'll repeat row three in white. So every single crochet row will be white and every cross double crochet row will be a color. So if you're gonna follow along in the same color sequence, you can see that we're starting next with the yellow and we're going to work back to the pink. And when we get to the end of the afghan, we're going to end here with the pink. We're going to stop right here. So we're starting with the pink and we're going to end with that pink. So I printed a paper out so you can pause the video and you can write this down so you can know which colors to do next. So we're going to repeat row two and three in all these different color sequence if you're following along with these same colors I'm showing here. Now row two will be the colored cross double crochet row and then row three will always be white for that single crochet row. So you're going to repeat in the sequence sunshine yellow, white, sky blue, then white, lime sherbet, then white, the cantaloupe peach color, and then white, periwinkle, which is that purple, and then white and then pink punch and then white. You're going to repeat this color sequence from row four to row 15 a total of nine times. When you get the color sequence repeated nine times, you will be at the end of row 123. So go ahead and repeat. If you need help, click back on the video and start right where I show you how to join that new color in the beginning of row two. And if you need help, follow it from row two right to the end of row three. And if you still need help, just click back on that same spot in the video until you're comfortable with what you're doing. And then you can continue when you're more comfortable without the video. So go ahead and work the sequence to the end of row 123. I'll meet you there and then we'll start our border. I'm over at the end of row 123, so pretty big afghan. So I'm going to zoom back up and we're going to go back up to the corner. So we're back up to the corner where we just did our last row, row 123, and now we're just going to turn our work. Now I decided to just do a simple double crochet, just one round of double crochet around the entire afghan just to give it a more finished look. To begin round one of our border, we're going to start and chain three. One, two, and three. We're going to work one double crochet in each single crochet stitch across. Yarn over. You're going to insert into the next single crochet, work a double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. So the first side of the afghan is very easy. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet 
double crochet into the next stitch so continue and work one double crochet in each stitch across to the next corner and I'll meet you there I'm over at my next corner this is the first side of our border so let me zoom out a little bit so this is what it should look like across the top of your afghan so this is really big it keeps wanting to fall off the table so sorry about that so now we're going to get ready and we're going to start working down the length of our afghan now i have a couple row ends that i didn't weave in yet because i worked this ahead and got it ready so i'm just going to work my stitches right over the end stitches and weave this in when i get all done with my blanket so what we're going to to do is let me zoom up just a little bit so what we're going to do working down our length is we're going to work one double crochet around this single crochet row end stitch and then two double crochet around the double crochet row end stitch and then one double crochet around the single row end stitch and then two in the next so you'll be able to find those stitches really easily now I weave these ends in so it's a little bit tighter right here so you're just going to insert your hook underneath the post of those end stitches and work right around the post of that row and then your single crochet row you're going to do the same thing you're going to insert your hook underneath the row end stitch and work right around the post of that stitch so let's go back up to our corner. Let me reinsert my hook and we're going to get ready to start down the length. Now we're ready to go ahead and work our corner and then work down the length. We're going to chain two, one, two, and this forms our corner and helps us come around to the other side. So when you look at your work, we have our double crochet row going across the top of the afghan, and we have a single crochet row going right underneath that one. So what we're going to do is work a double crochet right into this end single crochet row end stitch. Yarn over, insert right into that ending single crochet row end stitch. Work a double crochet. When you look at your work, you'll see next we have a double crochet row end stitch. So you're going to yarn over, insert underneath that row end stitch of that double crochet cross stitch row, work two double crochet. And we're working right around the post of that stitch. There's one, yarn over, insert underneath and around the post of that stitch, work your second double crochet. Now you're going to see your single crochet row end stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert underneath and around that last single crochet stitch, work one double crochet. So now we're getting ready to start our repeat. We're going to work two double crochet around the post of the next double crochet row end stitch and then we're going to work one double crochet around the next single crochet row end stitch. So let's begin. Yarn over, insert into that double crochet row end stitch underneath the post of the stitch, work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over, insert underneath and around the post of that same stitch, work a second double crochet. When you look at your work, we have a single crochet row next. You're going to yarn over, insert underneath and around the post of that last single crochet, work one double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. Yarn over. You're going to work two double crochet underneath and around this next double crochet row end stitch. Insert your hook and work two double crochet. One and two. Yarn over, insert underneath and around that last single crochet stitch of that next single crochet row and work one double crochet. So go ahead and repeat two double crochet into the next double crochet row end stitch 
and then one double crochet into the single crochet row end stitch, two double crochet into the next double crochet row end stitch, and one double crochet into the next single crochet row end stitch. Repeat that down your length until you get to the next corner and I'll meet you there. I'm down at my next corner. We just worked two double crochet in each of the colored cross double crochet rows and one double crochet in each one of those white single crochet rows. This is what it should look like working down your length. And now we're at the corner. So I just worked my last double crochet into this end of this row and stitch of this white underneath that double crochet row. So let me zoom back up. So when you look at your work, you should have worked two double crochet into this last double cross stitch row and then one right on the edge of that white. So now we're going to go ahead and form our corner. We're going to chain two, one, two, and now we're going to start working across the bottom of our afghan. So let me just turn this so you can see it. So when you look at your work, we're going to be working right into the chain stitches on the bottom of the foundation chain. So we're going to go ahead and start and we're going to work a double crochet right into the same space you worked that last double crochet stitch. So insert your hook into the same space you worked that last stitch and work a double crochet. Find your next chain. Right here it is. Again, I'm using my double crochet stitches below and just follow them up. So I'm going right here yarn over, insert into that next chain, work a double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next chain, and again here's that next double crochet, clear down here and then follow it to the top, insert your hook, work a double crochet. Now that's just a suggestion on if you're having trouble seeing your stitches because the yarn's so fuzzy. Yarn over, insert into the next chain, work a double crochet. Go ahead and continue and work one double crochet in each chain across the bottom of the afghan and I'll meet you at the next corner. I'm over at my corner. I just worked across the bottom of our afghan and we put one double crochet in each chain across that bottom of that foundation chain row. And now we have one side to go, our fourth side. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to chain two to form our corner. One and two. So when you look at your work, we're going to start down the other side and you have to remember we have one white single crochet row here. So we're going to work one double crochet into this first white row end stitch. Yarn over, insert into that row end stitch of that single crochet row and work one double crochet. Now we're ready to start working down our length. We're going to work two double crochet into this next double crochet row end stitch and then one double crochet into the single crochet row end stitch. So again, if you need help, click back on the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat. You're going to yarn over, insert underneath, and we're going to work around the post of that end stitch. Work two double crochet one, and two. Yarn over, insert into the next single crochet row end stitch, work one double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So it's two in the double crochet row end stitch and one double crochet into the single crochet row end stitch. So let's do it again. Yarn over, insert into that double crochet row end stitch, work two double crochet. One. And two. Yarn over, insert into the next white single crochet row end stitch, 
work one double crochet and that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and work two double crochet into the double crochet row end stitch and one double crochet into the single crochet row end stitch. Repeat that down your length and I'll meet you at the next corner. I'm over at the end of round one. I just finished working down the fourth side of the afghan and when you get to the end, remember to end with one double crochet into that white single crochet row end stitch. Remember there's still a row there. So now we're going to go ahead and finish. We're going to chain two for the corner. One, two, and we're going to join with the slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. So you can count up one, two, three, or look for your first double crochet stitch and go into the chain right beside it. And slip stitch yarn over pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook I'm going to go ahead and fasten off I'm going to weave in all my remaining ends and I'll be back and show you the finished afghan our afghan is finished this is what it looks like I want to thank everyone for stopping by today and crocheting with me the PDF pattern is available in the description box underneath this video and until next time, everyone, stay inspired and happy crocheting.